Gordon Nisler with the dribble. Passes down underneath, stolen. She tried to get it through a crowd. Up ahead, it comes to Gaston. Gaston baseline right. Out to Belanger. Down low again to Poe. She's on the drive. It's good, and she's fouled. Giving New Hampshire the lead, 12 to 11, and having a chance at a three-point play. Ariel sends it left sideline to Anderson. Kristen down low to uh, Poe. Poe in the lane to Belanger for the layup. Great feed, great running without the ball by Belanger. Eight assists on their 10 field goals. There's a three from the left-hand corner that's good by Kylie Atwood. She was deep in the corner. Well, almost stolen, coming into the paint, going up for the runner as uh, Butler, no good, rebound by Poe. Gets it over to Gaston, left sideline uh, is Anderson for three. Switch! Another assist, it's a terrific pass across the way. Eisler has the basketball high at the foul line for Taylor. Now over to Butler. Butler underneath for a reverse layup by, that goes up and in by Katie Lavelle. The freshman had herself a pretty good move. It'll come to Atwood, and Atwood will cross the midcourt stripe. Atwood will do from about 40 feet. Trish! At the buzzer. Whoa, does that change things around going into the locker room? A little spring in the life of the Catamount. Down low baseline left to Kilpatrick. Turns, fires again. It won't go, but she's had bad luck on her shots. Yep, you can't go away from that play, though, because that will be effective. Put Kilpatrick down that left block. Cloutier down underneath to a breaking Lavelle, and she lays it in and gets fouled. Gaston to Kilpatrick. She's there for a runner. That's good. Nice entry from Gaston. She moved over to that left wing to lob it in, so Kilpatrick had room to make her move, and she breaks into double figures of 10. Tie ball game still. 27 seconds on the play clock for Vermont. As Eisler runs the point, comes high to Cloutier, back over to Eisler, deep to the left side. Underneath the butler, lays it up, it's good, and she's fouled by Kilpatrick. How deep it comes uh, to Booth. Left-hand corner to Belanger. She's on the drive, leaves it for Poe for the layup and good. Now the assists are back. Belanger, dribble, drive, dish, Poe finishes. Carly Poe, five for five from the field, 13 points, and for Belanger, her third assist. Trying to set it up, does so to Frankenberger. Now back over to Belanger. Still out deep, down low, it comes to Kilpatrick, fires it up, good, and she's fouled. With 2.11 to go, New Hampshire gets the lead back, 56-55. Right into the forecourt, Kylie Atwood. Atwood picks up her dribble, finds nobody yet. Finally on the left side to LaValle, outside to Smith. Three is good. Well, the freshman's been quiet. Inbounds, it comes over to Gaston. Gaston will come to the right. Gaston over to uh, Belanger. Long three. No good it off the side of the rim, and that's the ball game. So a fabulous upset victory for the Vermont Catamounts as they will post a 63-60 to 60 win over the Wildcats. And after a 12-game losing streak, they will have put together two in a row, and the drought continues for the uh, Wildcats. And uh, four games to go to try to regroup.